We're continuing our series, Look at Jesus in the Gospels, and we just see uh, more and more in the life of Jesus and the things he did and then the words he spoke. So our message for today is Jesus heals the leper. And this is based on Matthew chapter 8 and Luke 17. First of all, let's consider what is leprosy in the Bible. And most of the passages about leprosy are in the Old Testament. かかれているかしょは聖書の旧約聖書の方にあります。それでは、ヘブライ語の言葉となって、そのヘブライ語の言葉はずらっと言います。これはヒフアゴヒゲとアダムの毛、アマヌのやヨモデイスクラレテイフ
So in Leviticus, it tells us the persons who have this infectious disease must wear torn clothes, let his hair be unkempt, cover the lower part of his face and cry out, unclean, unclean. As long as he has the infection, he remains unclean. He must live alone. He must live outside the camp. This is really a, a terrible treatment of the people who had this. You know, they, they had to live away from society. They couldn't live with other people. And they had to announce that they were disease that they were unclean everywhere they went so that people would know not to come close and definitely not to touch them. So but what if this person who's out there and they're living with this disease looks one day and they think, oh, my symptoms are gone, I've gotten well, or somebody healed me, then what should they do? Well, there's directions for that in Leviticus 14. Sono setsume wa rebiki juyonshou ni arimasu. The priest is to go outside the camp and examine him. So the person can't go in to see the priest. The priest, he has to send a message somehow and get the priest to come out to him. Now here it says the camp, of course, because this was written in the time of Moses when they were living in tents. But in Jesus' time, it would have been you had to get the priest to come from the temple in Jerusalem to you. So you'd have to be somewhere outside the city of Jerusalem and have the priest come to you. Now, if the person has been healed of his infectious skin disease, the priest shall order that two live clean birds and some cedar wood, scarlet yarn and hyssop be brought for the one to be cleansed. And then the rest of that chapter gives a detailed ceremony of the cleansing, which is not just one day, but took a few weeks to actually complete all the ceremony. Saishi wa shukwe no soto ni dete kite shirabedu to arimasu ne? Tsumari. その伝えてその now, the priest probably very rarely, if ever, had to do this, but if they did have to do it, the procedure is there. So this is just the Old Testament background for today's passage. So today's Bible passage that we'll look at first is in Matthew chapter 8, which comes right after the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 5 and 7. And it involves the healing of a leper. Matai 
降りられると大勢の群衆が従った。It says in Matthew 8, 1, when he, and that's Jesus, came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. So who are these large crowds? Well, we saw before in Matthew chapter 4. この大勢の群衆は誰ですかと言って、もうマタイ4章を参照しますね。マタイ4章25節に、こうしてガラダイアデカポリス、エルスルムユディア、ヨーデン川の向こう側から大勢の軍衆が来てイエスに従った。そして三条の説教の間にここに加えて人もいて、それら大きな軍衆があってユダヤ人も違法人も入っていました。In Matthew 4:25 says, large crowds came from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and the region across the Jordan、uh, followed him. So we've got these crowds, and, and it's part Jews and it's part Gentiles, interestingly enough, and probably more people added during the time of the Sermon on the Mount. And now we come to Matthew 8, and there's quite a large group there. In verse 2, it says, Matthew 8, a man with leprosy came and knelt down before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Matai Hasha ni set suduto, he tori no omoi hi fibio was a rati iri hitaga yesni chikayori, iri fushte, shuyo mi kokoro naraba, watashio kyoko suru koto ga odeki ni narimas to itta. Kore wa betsu no seishu no honyaku mitara, mo furui honyaku wa raibio kakarete iru komashirimasu, so ste moto no saiki no honyaku tameni, so no heberai go no ままと depending on your translation, instead of leprosy, it may say a serious skin disease or a dreaded skin disease. And these are probably actually better translations because when people think of leprosy, they think of Hansen's disease, and it probably wasn't that. Although it's a very terrible disease, certainly perhaps even worse than Hansen's disease. この人はイエスのとこに来てヘリフしていますね。これはもうルール違反ですね。この人は私は汚れていると呼びながらもう言ったわけじゃなくてイエスに近づいています。それはもうルール違反ですね。起きてが破ったことですけれども、信仰深い。So, this person, first of all, he comes and he comes up to Jesus, he kneels before him. So, he's, he's, he's breaking the rules. He's not. Crying out that he's unclean, he's not staying away. He's coming right up to Jesus and then he, he's bending down and asking him something. And、uh, he really shows a lot of faith here because he says, Lord, if you're willing, you can make me clean. So he has faith and confidence in Jesus' power, his ability to cleanse him. But maybe he still has some doubts whether Jesus will have mercy on him or not. Or maybe he just thinks this is a polite way of expressing his requests. In any case, Jesus helps him. もうとにかくイエスはもう憐れんでいます。イエスが手を差し伸べてその人に触れ、よろしい、清くなれ。と言われると、たちまち、思い日々は清くなった。もう素晴らしい奇跡ですね。感謝します。Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately he was cured of his leprosy. And this is a wonderful miracle, and we just give thanks to God. So Jesus not only allows the man to come up to him, but he actually touches the man even before he's done the miracle. Jesus はその人はもう病気の人は近づいていることだけ許していらっしゃらないで、もう手を伸ばしてその人に触れますね。それはもうまだ癒されていないうちにその人を。So, touching the man is really an expression of Jesus' love here. And I think probably the crowd was very shocked. In verse 4, it says, 
Then Jesus said to him, See that you don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. So what Jesus is really saying, he's telling the man, go and do as it tells you in Leviticus chapter 14, the instruction about what to do in this case. So what about the priest? Will he really believe that the man was healed? You know, he didn't see it. So that's a question there. So I think sometimes when we read these passages, when we read it just one line at a time, you can miss the big picture. So I want to read the whole thing again in English and then in Japanese. Matthew chapter 8 verses 1 to 4. When he came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately he was cured of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, See that you don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. Now I want you to think about and notice the people who show up in this passage. There's the crowds, the man with leprosy, there's Jesus, and then afterwards there's the priest. You know, think about that for a moment. Ma Nihongo de Yesuga Yama o ホリラリルトオゼノ軍師がしたがったすると人の思い引きびょうわざだって言う人がイエスに近寄り引き伏して死を見心なれば私を記憶することがおできになりますと言ったイエスが手を差し伸べてその人に触れよろしい記憶な
もう奇跡を見るように聖書を読んでいらっしゃいますかそれとも重い皮膚病を患っている人とは癒しを受けましたそのように聖書を読むときに私は癒しが必要、癒してくださいと読みながら願いますかそれとも、イエスを見て、イエスの見姿を見て、もうイエスはその人を癒されました。私は同じように人に癒しを与えたい。何か治療の仕事、また奇跡を行う人になりたいですかその気持ちで読みますかそれとも、その祭祀のようで、もう癒された男の歌詞を聞く。しかし、直接見ていないので、ちょっと疑問を持って、この話を信じるべきかどうか。シエスは本当に奇跡を行ったか、それとも何か、チェイジネシのように技を加えたか。それとも、この人はただの嘘つきですか。癒されてと言っても。それは私たちは聖書の読み方によって学んでいくことは違いますね。信仰深い人は聖書を受け入れて、そのいろいろな人々の立場から考えてみても信仰がもう深くなります。しかし疑問を持つと、それはもう疑問を持つことはために当たり前かもしれませんけれども、それは本当に学ぶことの邪魔になるので、後で調べて祈って疑問がないように読めるようになれば祝福されるでしょう。And how we read our Bibles will really affect how we learn from it and what we get out of it, whether we read with faith or whether we read with doubt, whether we read trying to be like Jesus or whether we accept that we are more like the man who had the disease. So, I will say so, you must say, you can go and get it. その一つ一つの物語の中、ご自分を誰と同意しできるか考えながら。So as you read the Bible, each time you read the Bible, you might want to think as you're reading each story and stuff, who can you identify with in the story and what can you learn? まあ次はこの十人の重い皮膚病に患っている人の癒しの話を読みたいと思います。Luca 17 shows a ignodes. So, next, let's take a look at the story of the healing of the ten lepers in Luke chapter 17. It's, it's another story that's similar and yet it's quite different in some ways. So, let's take a look at it next. Two Isets Kara. Yeswa Elusume no Boru Tochu, Samaria to Garadaya no Aida o Torarita. Now, Luke 17, 11 and following. Now, on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. Aru murde ni hairu to omoi hifbyo wazarate iru, ju nin no hito ga demukai. 遠くの方に立ち止まったまま、声を張り上げて、イエス様、先生、どうか私たちを憐れんでくださいと言ったのです。この住人はもう同じように皮膚病に患っているので、もう、普通の社会から離れている生活をして必要がありましても、一緒に住むことが、できました。許されていました。手紙に助けあったかもしれません。So、you see these ten men, they, they all have similar diseases and they're living separated from society, but they're allowed to live together because they're all unclean. And they come and they, they stand and they stay away from Jesus. Jesus doesn't come up to them and they don't come up to Jesus and they say, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. この人たちは、シエスに近づかないように、またシエスはその人に近づきませんでしたけれども、この人は願っていまして、イエス様、先生、どうか私たちを憐れんでください。とあります。イエスは重い皮膚病を患っている人たちを見て、祭司たちのとこに行って、体を見せなさいと言われた。And when he saw them, this Jesus, 
He said, go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. So this time is different because one, they don't come close to each other. Jesus doesn't touch them. And he doesn't even say they'll be cleansed. He just says, go show yourselves to the priests. And that's all Jesus says as far as is recorded in the gospel. And they went. And as they went, obeying Jesus' word, they were healed. They were cleansed. しえすとそのびょきのひとは近くに鳴ることはなかったしえすはもう手を伸ばして触れてことはなかったし シエスの命令に従って癒されたのですね。体が記憶になったのです。彼はもうこの人たちはシエスの言葉に従っていますので、もうある程度、もう少なくてもある程度の信仰を持ってシエスの力に対して。So they must have some faith in Jesus' power, confidence in his power because they did obey him when he just said go and show yourselves to the priests. Now, I can't help but thinking when I read this, what about the priests? What are they going to think? Uh, the other guy, you know, one guy came and he said he was healed. And the, the priest would come out and inspect him, of course, and presumably determine that, yes, indeed, he was healed. And now there's 10 of them coming. Uh, so what will the priest think? And will it be the same priest from the temple or a different one? I don't know, or maybe a number of them come out this time because 10 people all at once is so amazing and there's a lot of work to do. Uh, but I think the priest must just been totally amazed and wondering what in the world is going on with this Jesus, you know. So, もう先に一人の人はもうこの病気から癒された時聞いていましたもう多分新年の方から一人の祭祀が出ていて今度は十名ですからもっと多く行ったかもしれませんおなじ人が入っているかどうかわからないでもその話を聞いたことは間違いは
than the Jews were even. And that's kind of amazing considering the way they were treated. Ma, tonikaku. Soko de Yesu wa iwarita, kyoku sarita no wa junin de wanakata ka, hoka no kyunin wa doko ni iru no ka. Kono gai kokujin no hoka ni kami o sambi suru tame ni modote kita mono wa inai no ka. And Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? So, in the body, all ten of them are healed of their disease. But only one comes back to praise and give thanks. So, when we look at this, I think we can almost feel, I'm sure all of them, you know, were thankful to be healed. But only one of them really responded in a spiritual manner, seeing it as uh, a miracle of God and as something they needed to give thanks for and to give praise for, is what it looks like here. So, kono kashi wo mitara, mo jūnin minu wa mo tashika ni mo iasarita koto wa no あれが対と思ってるでしょう。しかしこの一人は霊的な反応で神を賛美して、イエスに感謝したもので聞いてるのです。これはもうその他の9人と違うことですね。So one of them is different than the other nine. And then he said to him, Jesus said to him, "Rise and go, your faith has made you well." Now, if you look at other translations, it'll say your faith has saved you, some of the other translations. But I think that's a better translation because all ten of them were healed in the body, but only one came back and responded spiritually, and I think only one received the spiritual blessing of salvation at this time. Sarekari Yesu wa suno hito ni iwarita. Tachi agate ikinasai. Anata no shinko ga anata o tsukutta to arimasu. そして他の翻訳を見たら、たまに、あなたの信仰があなたを直したと書かれているんですでも、作ったという訳の方がいいと思います。なぜかと言いますと、これはもう十名の間で一人だけは霊的の反応があって賛美しました。イエスに感謝
How about us? Do we take the time to praise God and give thanks for the Lord's blessings? Do we praise and give thanks and see it as a spiritual thing and receive that salvation of our soul as well as the good things for our body, whether it's rain or food or clothing? さんびして感謝するでしょうか。それともただ私たちはもう雨が降ってくるともう綺麗な晴れとなって時とかこれはただもうこの地上のものだと思って食べ物衣服とかもう家のことを全部神様の見てにいただいたと思いますか神様さん